Hi everyone, and welcome to how to apply creative color styling to videos fast with LUT presets in Adobe After Effects. In this lesson, we'll take you through how to use and install this particular LUTs pack, which you can download from the Envato Elements website. As you can see from the preview video, these color presets can really transform your videos and make them look cinematic. These are extremely easy to use, but require just a little bit of setting up beforehand. So to start, simply type in Ultra Color LUTs Pack in the search bar at the top here. And then click on the search button. And then you'll see the Ultra Color LUTs Pack is the first option that we can use to download right here or just simply use the link in the description below. Once you've downloaded the LUTs pack, it's time to install it so that we can use it in Adobe After Effects. Hey, video creators. With Envato Elements, you can create better videos. How? With unlimited downloads of millions of creative assets, all with commercial licenses for one low cost. Because no matter which video you're creating, Envato Elements has everything you need. Get creative with unlimited downloads of royalty-free stock footage, video templates, audio, and millions of other creative assets. Whoa. All right, people, let's move on. So this is where Mike stands, and this is where the dinosaur comes in. Yeah, Envato Elements is where you find and download everything. Motion graphics, dinosaurs, and create even more with social media assets, online content, everything. Everything. Literally everything. Music tracks, sound effects. <clears throat> Thank you. Everything you need for your videos, it's all unlimited. Deliver better videos faster with Envato Elements. Get started today. Hi everyone, and welcome back to how to apply creative color styling to videos fast with LUT presets in Adobe After Effects. Once we've unzipped the downloaded file, we'll be greeted with a few files here. Let's focus on 02 LUTs, open it up, and here you'll find all of the LUTs packs that we'll be using in Adobe After Effects. Highlight all of these and press Ctrl C on the keyboard to copy them. Now in a separate Explorer window, we'll need to navigate to where we want or where we have installed our Adobe products, which is usually contained in C, Program Files, Adobe, and then Common. And inside the Common folder, we now have to create a new folder called LUTs. So right click, go to New Folder, and let's name this LUTs. Open up the LUTs folder. And once we've done that, we need to create another new folder called Creative. So let's go ahead and create this one. Now we're ready to install our LUTs files. Open up the Creative folder here and let's paste all of our LUTs files. So press Control V on the keyboard to paste them in. Excellent. Now we're ready to use the LUTs in Adobe After Effects. Now in After Effects, you can see that I've imported my footage here into a composition ready to use to apply our LUTs. To apply our LUTs to this, first we have to make sure that the layer footage is selected. And then we have to go into the Effects and Presets panel here. And let's go ahead and type in LUTs. Excellent. From here, we'll see the Apply Color LUT option from the menu that we can then select by clicking on it. And then this will apply the option to apply our LUT into the Effect Control Panel, which you can see if I close this window. Here in the Effect Control Panel, we've got Apply Color LUT here and the option to choose a LUT. So if we go ahead and apply one of the downloaded LUTs, we need to select this Choose LUT option here, like so. 
and then from here we need to navigate back to where we installed the LUTs files which was inside the Adobe Commons folder. From there we can then first choose the style of the LUT as described from one of these folders. So let's go ahead and select cinematic for an example. And then we want to choose from the 10 styles available here. So let's go through each of these and we want to apply the first one to see what it looks like. Awesome. So straight away, you can see how the LUT has changed the look and feel of our footage. And if we go ahead and switch the LUT on and off, you can see exactly how it has changed and compare the two. Awesome. Now, one easy way to preview the look of our LUT before we apply it is to use the preview LUTs folder which is included inside the pack downloaded from Envato Elements. Simply open up the preview LUTs folder here and you'll find the same folders laid out in exactly the same way as the ones we installed into Adobe After Effects. Open up the folder that you want to preview, for example, this cinematic folder, and then just preview the GIFs available to see what the LUTs look like. So let's go ahead and open one of these up and then simply scroll through these options to see how each of these look like. Awesome. Now, another way to go ahead and preview these LUTs is to open the HTML file at the bottom here for an even quicker overview of all the LUTs available in the pack. This will open up a new sort of website which you can navigate through all the different styles from the left to see all the LUTs examples side by side for you to compare quickly and easily. Awesome! So let's go ahead and go back into After Effects where we can take a close look at the LUTs that we've applied to our footage here. Now, even with the LUT applied, you may not necessarily get the exact look that you're after. So let's go ahead and apply the LUT to another footage for this example. So let's go back to our project folder, our project panel. And now let's go ahead and select this new footage here. And now let's go ahead and apply our LUT to this like so. Excellent. Getting a consistent look and style across your footage is made easier with a LUT, but you might still need to make some slight adjustments. As you can see here, you may decide that the contrast is cranked up too high or that the saturation is a little bit too much. So let's go ahead and correct this by going into the effects and presets panel here. And let's go ahead and type in brightness and contrast and apply this to our footage. Excellent. Now make sure that the effect is placed below our apply color LUT, which simply means that we will correct the footage before the LUT is applied. Now let's go ahead and hide the LUT for now whilst we make some adjustments. Let's go ahead and lower the brightness a little bit and then lower the contrast. And now let's go ahead and apply some curves to the footage as well. Again, going to the effects and presets panel and type in curves and double click on curves to apply that onto our footage like so. And now we can go ahead and make some changes to this as well. Excellent. So once you've made the changes, let's go ahead and apply our LUT effect again, just to see how our adjustments have affected the look of our footage. Now, the great thing about the LUT is that we can also make these adjustments whilst the LUT is applied so that we can see the finished image 
whilst we make these changes, like so. Excellent. So if I switch the LUT off here, I was just sort of guessing how the effects will be applied. And now with the LUT switched on, we can make these changes and see how these adjustments make a difference to the final look. Now let's try this again with another scene. So let's apply a city scene this time. And now let's go ahead again and apply the LUT like so. And this time we can go ahead and apply an urban LUT to this scene. So let's go ahead and choose urban three and see how that changes the look of our footage like so. And then once again, just going ahead and choosing brightness and contrast and also curves to then go ahead and adjust the look of our LUT until we're happy with the way that it looks. Excellent. So that's it for this video. Feel free to go through all the different LUT styles and also remember that you may need to make some color corrections and adjustments to the footage. That's all for now and I'll see you next time on Tuts Plus.